All right, Jason Tatum has the headset on. Jason, thank you very much for taking a few minutes with us. Um, we're just discussing here 4-0. Uh, not a whole lot of folks thought that was in the cards when this series started. What was your what was your take going in on this, and how surprised are you to see it over in four games? Uh, I mean, we knew who we were facing. You know, they their record didn't show, uh, you know, how talented they were. Um, and we knew it was going to be a dog fight from game one. Um, it was 4-0, but, you know, each game was uh, was back and forth. Each game was tough. Um, but, you know, we believed in ourselves. Um, and we just took it one game at a time. We didn't look too far ahead. Uh, and we just tried to win each game, and that's what we did. Jason Shaq here, a great game. Uh, as a great player yourself, what's your mindset when you're playing against a player that's perceived to be greater than you are? Uh, man, it's a challenge, um, especially on both ends. I knew that coming in. Um, I know what he's capable of. I know what he's accomplished. Um, and he pushed me, you know, going, to, going up against somebody like that. Uh, I knew I had to be on point um, and, and compete on both ends every night. Um, and that was my mentality going in. Um, and that's what I tried to accomplish. You know, Jason, something happened to your team in the middle of the season. Can you pinpoint when y'all was like, man, we got to come together as a team? Did y'all have a team meeting or something? Because the second half of the season, y'all been arguably the best team in the NBA. Yeah, I think it was sometime around January. I think uh, just adjusting. We had new coaching staff. We had new, new guys on the team. Um, and it took us a minute. And then along with injuries and COVID and things like that, around January, we got our full team. Um, and we was always right there. And we were just, you know, we stayed composed. We stayed together. Um, and we didn't lose sight of what we were trying to accomplish. And it was only a matter of time. And uh, we haven't looked back since. You know, Jason, you know, arguably two of the best scorers uh, with Kyrie Irving and, and, um, and Kevin Durant. And you guys made it so uncomfortable. Now that the series is over, what do you think that you guys were able to do that no one Absolutely no one really has done to this point, especially with Kevin. Oh, man. Um, you know, he had, a, he had a big night tonight, uh, and it was only a matter of time. Uh, you know, those first three games, you know, part of it, you know, we showed a crowd. Uh, we wasn't just guarding with one person. Uh, you know, you don't approach the game of what he's doing right now. You approach it what he's capable of, and we know what he's capable of, and every night, you know, we just try to make it tough. You know, sometimes he missed shots, uh, but I think we just tried to wear on him and, you know, not let it be easy for him. Uh, I think we just got the team to do that, and everybody bought in to the, to the game plan. Jason Tatum, thank you very much for your time. 29 points and the clincher for the Celtics, 116-112 over the Nets. Game two of our doubleheaders coming your way moments from now. It's game five between the Jazz and the Mavs.